Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Honda HRV EX, as well as learn about the other 2019 Honda HRV configurations along the way. Before we do that, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. By the very nature of their size, subcompact crossover SUVs can't offer the practical benefits of larger SUVs. Check the spec sheets, and you'll find that many don't even have as much cargo space as similarly priced compact hatchbacks. The 2019 Honda HRV is one vehicle that does a great job of overcoming its size limitations, however. A thoughtful interior layout that includes the second row magic seat that can flip up so you can carry tall items gives the HRV more passenger room and greater storage space than others in the class. Honda has also made improvements this year. New front and rear styling cues differentiate the 2019 HRV from the last year. But you're probably more interested in the expanded list of features. This includes a volume knob. The car had an annoying to use touch sensitive volume slider before. And Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functionality for the 7 inch touchscreen are also available. I believe they're standard. We'll double check as we go through this build and price review. The Honda Sensing suite of advanced driver safety features is another new addition for EX trims and above. Shoppers looking for additional luxuries will be pleased with the new Touring trim, which bolsters the HRV with LED headlights and fog lights alongside a power adjustable driver's seat and navigation system. Unfortunately, the HRV's underpowered engine is the same for 2019. Though fuel efficient, the HRV is slow and noisy when you mash the gas. Honda has also discontinued the manual transmission. I doubt many people were opting for it anyway, but it helped make the most of the HRV's available power. Overall, though, the HRV's exceptional utility makes this pint-sized Honda a top pick in the class. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2019 Honda HRV. All right, it's a subcompact crossover. First thing they want to give us, they want to let us take a look at the gallery, which I love taking a look at the gallery, so we're going to do that. But before we do that, they've got to tell you, right, they must be gunning for Subaru because right off the bat, they're telling you, hey, here's all the reasons why our HRV is better than the Subaru Crosstrek. Now, it just so happens that I did do a build in price review of the 2019 Subaru Crosstrek. I did it in the top tier limited trim. I'm going to put a link up to that right now. Okay, let's find out why the HRV is better than the Crosstrek. Now, let's find out what's standard. Uh, the second row magic seat. Well, of course, that is not available in the Crosstrek. We just read about that in the intro. I was just telling you about that magic second row seat. Um, the cargo capacity is bigger in the HRV. Uh, standard road departure mitigation system, which is standard in the HRV, is not available in the Crosstrek. Standard moonroof in the HRV, which is optional in the Crosstrek. Then down here, there's a smart entry with walk around, walk away, auto lock. Obviously, uh, Subaru might call it something different. So, you know, you got to be careful with this not available type stuff because they might just have different verbiage. Um, but maybe Subaru doesn't offer that. And then there's an eight-way adjustable power driver's seat. We don't have to make any uh, guesses as to what they mean by that. Subaru does not offer that as standard. Like I said, I built and priced the Limited, which puts it at the top tier for the Crosstrek. So that kind of gives you everything. But hopefully they're talking base model to base model here, and I'm sure they are. All right, let's check out these uh, 28 images. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time reading the information because we're about to go through all the features. So we're going to learn about the technology and the performance and the safety and all of that and the Honda sensing and all that information. And so if we spend a whole bunch of time going through it right now, it'll just be a little redundant later. right? We've seen some of these photos. Here's a nice shot of the interior. The seats are attractive. You can see there's a little pass-through down here. Looks like there's USB ports and other uh, accessories down there for uh, your phone. We already saw this, um, this image here where they're showing the 60-40 split uh, fold-down seats. It says the passenger side and rear seats fold down in long mode to fit cargo up to 8 feet long. Pretty cool. Here they're showing the Apple CarPlay integration. It says it's standard on sport models and above. So I was right in the intro when I was saying we're going to double check and find out where Apple CarPlay and Android Auto exist in terms of do they just give it to you or not. So, yeah, it's standard on the sport models and above. 
Here they're showing one with a, a Honda uh, HRV in with all-wheel drive. We'll certainly be getting ours with uh, all-wheel drive. Here they're showing you that 60-40 split uh, uh, magic seat and that 58.8 cubic feet of cargo volume back there. Look, you got an extra, uh, electronic parking brake, which is cool, and it disengages when the gas pedal is pressed. Here they're showing that 60-40 split seat again. Oh, tall mode. Look, you can flip you can flip the bottom of the seats up. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a, it, it's a nice utility feature. They've been very thoughtful in their engineering and their design in this whole thing. In this shot, they're talking about the 34 miles to the gallon highway rating makes the HRV one of the most efficient crossovers on the road. I think there's only one... Uh, engine option. We'll talk about that a little more when we look at the other configurations. Here they're showing that Android Auto. Let me go back. I barely showed you that. but uh, 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 There we go. There's the Android Auto. So we can see that uh, their layout of it is a little different. Normally the proprietary system always looks the same, but their Android Auto uh, on this rendering looks different than every other one I've ever seen in another manufacturer, which is interesting. Um, the HRV, they're just showing a shot of the back end here. Um, yep, little sleek profile. Here they're showing the multifunction steering wheel. It's got a lot of buttons on it, a lot of buttons. Here they're showing their Honda Lane Watch technology. We'll surely learn about it when we get to the features. We're going to be doing that here in just a second. It says that this feature, Honda Lane Watch, is standard on EX models, which, of course, we are building. EX models and above. In the grand scheme of things, the EX model is about right in the middle of all the tour, all the uh, configurations that are available for the HRV for this year. Here they're showing the push button start and also letting us know that it's standard on the EX trim levels and above. Below the EX, there's just the LX, which is the base model, and then there's a sport, just so you know. Those are the two trim levels that are below the EX. Here they're showing their keyless entry. They just call it smart entry with walk away auto lock. And this feature is also standard on EXs and above, EX trim levels and above. Here they're talking about their engine and how it produces few other emissions. They haven't said anything about power, but we'll get to that. Here they're showing their race-inspired paddle shifters and letting us know that they're standard on the sport models and above. All right, so we got through all the, the gallery. We looked at the interior images. We looked at the exterior photos. And we learned a little bit about the features along the way. So now... Let's look at the colors for the 2019, the exterior colors for the 2019 Honda HRV. Now, this color here is a G in blue. Now, you can see that right underneath the name of the color, they're letting us know what trim levels this color is available on. It's not available on the LX, which is the base model, right? The LX is the one that lives below the Sport. So it's available. This color is available on every via, every HRV except for the base model. This color here is crystal black pearl. It looks to be available on every trim level of HRV. Same deal with this lunar silver metallic. Uh, this Milano red is not available on the base model. It's available on sport levels and above. This midnight amethyst me metallic is available on EX level trims and above. Then we have this orange burst metallic, which I don't think is very attractive again. It's only available, well, it's available on sports trim levels and above. And then look, we've got some kind of, yeah, some kind of platinum white pearl. This is going to have more metallic flake in it. It's available on all the trim levels. And then finally, last but not least, there's a modern steel metallic. It too is available on all trim levels of the 2019 Honda HRV. Okay, got through the colors. We know the colors for the 2019 Honda HRV. We know what colors we can get that vehicle in now or this vehicle. Let's talk about the exterior. They want to tell us some things. They want to tell us about some exterior styling, and they want to talk about exterior accessories for the 2019 Honda HRV. So let's look into that. Here they're talking about the look that stands out in their new sport grill with an exclusive black honeycomb pattern and how it adds aggression and attitude to the face of the HRV. Yeah, it needs something because it's not a very athletic, sporty looking vehicle. Here they're talking about the sleek profile of the HRV and how supposedly. It brings the crossover sporty personality to life. I don't know about it, all that. I think you're reaching on that. Uh, what do we got now? 
A stylish set of 18-inch sport-exclusive wheels, alloy wheels, heighten the already noticeable presence of the HRV. I mean, what are you going to do? You got to, I mean, there's not much information. You got a pretty mundane looking car. It's nice. I'm sure it gets, it ticks all the boxes, but it's not very athletic looking. So you got to come up with something. You got to say something. So they're giving us something. All right. And say hard to miss the edgy taillight shape and energy efficient brake light with LED brightness make you visible on the road in more ways than one. Yeah, you got that right. You're sticking out like a sore thumb, really. I mean, it's a nice vehicle. Here's the sport model that they're showing with all-wheel drive. Here they're showing the sleek profiled LED daytime running lights, and they're set wide and fit the stance and attitude perfectly. Now, what they don't say is whether or not they're standard. Probably not standard equipment at this price point, uh, LED daytime running lights. I, I would be surprised if they're standard equipment. Honestly, they're not really saying much. Uh, sporty new style surrounds the back end of the HRV. With the gloss black rear sport bumper, right? This bumper right here is in gloss black, and that's what they're talking about. They're talking about this sport bumper. That's really about it. Okay, let's. Um, they want to tell us about um, exterior accessories. So let's take a look at exterior accessories. So they're talking about their Honda Genuine accessories. So that's stuff that's like trim kits, fog lights, crossbars, all of that. Let's find out what they got here. Here's the sport tailgate spoiler. That's this whole piece right here. Bring a hit of Honda's racing heritage to that to your hatch with a tailgate spoiler. And then, of course, what is this? Chrome front lower trim. The front of your HRV takes a new bearing with a stance, with a stance complementing front lower trim. All right. I don't exactly know where that is. Is that this piece of chrome right here? I'm not really sure. Or is it uh hold, hold on a second. Maybe, 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 maybe it's this piece of chrome that exists down here. I'm not sure. We can't really see, and so we're going to have to guess it. All right, so they got crossbars, right? You can add crossbars, so you can add storage and utility to the top of your roof on the 2019. You can get window visors as well, and then there's a set of 18-inch alloy wheels that you can option with this vehicle as well. Okay, let's talk interior. We got through the exterior. We learned about its features and its accessories. Now we're going to check out the interior. We're going to learn about the cabin. We're going to learn about the comfort. And then we're going to see about what accessories Honda has for the inside of this 2019 HRV2. Here they're starting off by giving us a nice interior view, telling us that everything is within reach, including the available 7 inch display audio touchscreen and an automatic dimming rear view mirror. Here they're talking about that second row magic seat again, just to accommodate just about anything because it flips up. So you got the 60 40 uh, fold down seat backs. And you got the whole thing that can flip up where the whole the seat bottom can actually flip up. Boy, they don't really have a whole bunch. Now they're going to let us know that the instrument panel glows electric blue. Okay. Now you've got their steering wheel mounted paddle shifters for all the sport driving. I'm sure Honda HRV owners uh, uh, do. Here they've tried to add a little sport with these uh, little exclusive sport pedals, right? And what's nice, I actually like pedals like this because all these little things here are actually rubber grippies, and so they grip really well. And, you know, sometimes the corner of your foot only hits the brake pedal. And look, they've been thoughtful enough to put a rubber grippy right on that corner. I like that. In some ways, the pedals look cheap, but in other ways, it's nice. There's an available moonroof. It's a one-touch power moonroof that, uh, that you can get. I'm sure it's not standard equipment. We'll find out as we go along. Might be on our EX. I doubt it, but and we'll see if we're going to option it. I'm not really sure. Okay, we got through the cabin information. Now we're on to the uh, comfort. And they just want to tell us that the HRV interior is designed to accommodate with room for five and plenty of cargo space. The inside of the HRV is truly outstanding. Here they're going to show us that leather wrap steering wheel looking quite nice. Leather wrap steering wheel does matter. Then they've got leather trim seats sinking to the comfortably and stylish leather trim seats. We already know that that is not standard equipment. Your base model LX is not getting leather interior. Okay, heated front seats. They're telling us that the heated front seats are standard on the EX model and above. So the 2019 HRV has a touched based automatic climate control system. And this feature is standard on the EX models and above. Looks like the seat warmers and everything. Very, very nice. I like the whole digital um, climate control, HVAC, all that. Okay, 
we went through the cabin. We talked about comfort. Now let's talk about the interior accessories for the 2019 Honda HRV. There's all season floor mats. There is a center console illumination. That's really cool. I actually like that. Um, there's a cargo mat for the back. I like that. There's illuminated door sill trim. I like that as well. And there's a hard cargo cover. Also like that so you can hide and protect all your stuff either from prying eyes or damaging UV rays. All right, got through the interior. Let's talk about features. What features does the 2019 Honda HRV have that Honda wants to tell us about? They're going to talk about their, the versatility of this vehicle. They're going to talk about the technology this vehicle has, and they're going to talk about the connected audio that the 2019 HRV has. So here we're going to start off talking about utility. It says with a 60-40 split second row magic seat, you can fold down one side or the other for even more cargo carrying options. Here they're talking about that magic seat again. We're not going to talk about it though. We're going to move on. Long mode. All right, passenger side. Passenger side front and rear seats fold down to accommodate items up to eight feet long. We kind of know, learned about that. Utility mode, transporting long, bulky, and tall items in, on the go, right? In the same go, with up to 58.8 cubic feet of cargo space. Yeah, that's pretty roomy for this size of vehicle. There's also a tall mode. Tall mode allows for nearly four feet of vertical, vertical cargo space. And then there's an available all-wheel drive system that can send power to all four wheels so that this thing won't get stuck when the terrain gets sketchy. Okay, on the technology side of things, first thing they're going to tell us is the uh, multi-angle rear view camera that features three different views, a normal view, a top-down view, and a wide view. They're talking about those configurations again here, so we're not going to get into that. And then, of course, they're talking about, oh, oh, I've skipped back. Hang on a second. I got ahead of myself, didn't I? I don't know how that happened. But we already know about this, the Honda Lane Watch. We know about this, making changing lanes easier to, by displaying the passenger side roadway on the display audio touchscreen when you signal right. And this is available on EX models and above. And yeah, so but it's not a standard feature, though. Here's the Honda Satellite Link Navigation System that features voice recognition and Honda HD digital traffic. We already learned about this feature as well, the electronic parking brake. And, you know, you just engage with a simple push of that button. And then it disengages when you press the gas pedal. It automatically disengages. We already know about the push button start. And we also know that it's, a, that it's available. I'm sorry, that it's a standard feature on EX trim levels and above. Okay, what's this? ACE body construction helps protect occupants during frontal collisions by strategically distributing crash energy. Okay. All right, let's talk about connected audio. All right, we're on the last uh, last, last uh, tier of this thing as far as features are concerned. And so, of course, they want to tell us about Apple CarPlay. It's a proprietary system. That means that in all manufacturers, it doesn't matter, Apple controls the way it looks, right? It, that's the way it looks. The way you see this on this screen right here, this is the way it looks on every car. It doesn't matter, Porsche, Mercedes, Audi, Honda, Kia, it doesn't matter. They all look the same. That doesn't take away from it. It's just cool that it's it's familiarity and that Apple controls that whole thing. They don't let the manufacturer control it. The Android Auto, however, this actually looks different than every other manufacturer. Every other manufacturer has it one standardized way. It looks different on this Honda HRV. I don't know a whole bunch about Android Auto because I have an Apple phone. But you can do the same things, you know, send messages, check your uh, check, check and receive messages, do your audio, all that stuff. Good stuff. You got Bluetooth enabled phone, right? Hands free. Then this should be Bluetooth music. Accessing and playing music and HRV is easy with the redesigned available seven inch display audio system. And then Honda Link it says connect your compatible device with the Honda Link app to save your parking location view your fuel range, and schedule service appointments. And then there's two USB ports and a 12-volt power outlet in this vehicle. All right, let's learn about Honda Sensing. It's a suite of safety and driver assistive technologies designed to help you by alerting, to think, by alerting you to things you might miss. And that includes this collision mitigation braking system, 
road departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, and a lane keeping assist system. Thou, these four systems make up Honda Sensing. So we're going to go through all four of them real quick. This is the collision mitigation braking system, and it can help bring the HRV to a stop when the system determines that a frontal collision is unavoidable. This road departure mitigation system can determine if you cross over detected lanes without signaling and can provide steering assistance to help you return to your lane or provide braking to help keep you from leaving the roadway entirely, from wrecking is what it's saying. Here's adaptive cruise control, which helps you maintain a set following interval behind detected vehicles for highway driving. And then there's lane keep assist finally. And with your hands on the steering wheel, lane keep assist can subtly adjust steering to help keep your HRV centered in whatever lane you're in, in the detected lane. The 2019 HRV is the least expensive crossover in Honda Stable, but thanks to a number of features offered, it doesn't have to feel like an Econobox special. There are five trim levels available. We've been talking a lot about them. There's the LX, there's the Sport, there's the EX, there's an EXL, and then finally, there's a Touring model. All three models are powered by a 1.8 liter four-cylinder engine that's good for 141 horsepower and 127 pound-feet of torque. A CVT transmission, which stands for Continuously Variable Transmission, is what these vehicles get. Front-wheel drive is standard on all models except for the Touring, which comes with, uh, which comes with the other model's optional all-wheel drive system. So, the Touring gets all-wheel drive as standard. Everybody else can option all-wheel drive. With standard heated front seats, keyless entry, and advanced safety equipment, I think the mid-tier EX gives you the best bang for the buck. It doesn't cost too much more than the base LX. So, well, let me show you that. The base LX starts at $20,520. The EX is $23,720. Okay, so the numerous added features represents a pretty good value. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the central touchscreen are also included at this level. Standard feature highlights for the LX include 17-inch alloy wheels, a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, a height adjustable driver's seat, a 60-40 split folding rear seat with Honda's Magic Seat feature, a 5-inch central display screen, a rear view camera, Bluetooth, and a four-speaker sound system with a CD player and a USB port. The Sport adds 18-inch wheels, fog lights, roof rails, black painted exterior trim, active noise cancellation, steering wheel mounted shift paddles, dynamic guidelines for the rear view camera, a leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, a 7-inch touchscreen display, and a 6-speaker sound system with an additional USB port and Apple CarPlay, Android Auto integration, and those cool Sport pedals we were talking about too. The EX trim, which we're going to do a build-in price on today, adds a sunroof, rear privacy glass, automatic headlights, heated mirrors, keyless entry and ignition, heated front seats, automatic climate control, a passenger side blind spot camera, which Honda calls Lane Watch, a satellite and HD radio, the Honda Sensing suite of advanced safety features, that includes four collision warning with automatic braking, lane departure warning, uh, and mitigation and at, city mitigation and adaptive cruise control. We just kind of went through those and all that standard. It does this without the sport styling features, however, and the leather wrapped steering wheel and shifter. After the EX, then you got the EXL, and really this just comes with a leather upholstery, the leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, and an auto dimming rearview mirror. So if you want all the leather, then you get an EXL. Right, that's that's really your deal. I like the EXL because I like the leather, but we're gonna stick with the EX on this build and price. Lastly, the range topping touring comes with unique wheels, LED headlights and fog lights, an eight-way power driver seat, and a navigation system that has voice recognition. All right, let's get into the build and price. We've kind of gone over everything, we've taken a look at everything, we've learned about everything that Honda wants to tell us about, we've got all the highlights and everything. Let's do our build-in price. I know that we don't want, uh, here's the EX and two-wheel drive. We don't want two-wheel drive. We want all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is going to cost us an additional $1,400 to get all-wheel drive on our vehicle. But I'm, I'm one that just believes that if you're going to have an SUV, I don't care what size it is, big, small, or otherwise, 
it should be four wheel drive. As far as colors are concerned, I'm not feeling any of these colors to be honest with you. It's got the platinum white pearl selected. If you've watched enough of my videos, you know I'm into the light colors, especially the whites and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the platinum white pearl. Why not? I'm not feeling any of the colors in particular. Here's a shot of the interior, uh, just real quick. And what else? Leather options available on EXL. We're not going to upgrade to the EXL. I, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to stick with the black cloth. So we've got the white, extra pearly white uh, exterior paint with the black cloth. Our premium features are the Honda Sensing. This vehicle already comes with it. So we can go ahead and close that premium features tab and close that off. We can close the interior features tab just to make sure that we got everything covered. Right, and powertrain, we did all that. So let's go to uh, wheels and see what wheels there are. That's what we have next. So there's the 17-inch wheels. These are the standard wheels. I'm a wheel guy. I want to upgrade the wheels. However, at this price point, that kind of probably knocks you out of where you want to be. However, I want a stylish EX. I want a stylish EX. We're going to go ahead and put these 18-inch machine finish alloy wheels. They're just really cool. They're going to make your this vehicle stand out because most everybody else isn't going to option for that. So we'll go ahead. We got the wheels done. Let's check out exterior accessories. We kind of went through those already. So we kind of know what we like. Um, what do we have? They don't really have anything that I really like. What's this re chrome rear bumper trim? That looks kind of attractive. And that's available on the LX, EX, and EXL. All right, gotcha. And then there's also the chrome front bumper trim as well. Let's see what that looks like. And that just adds that little splash of chrome down in the front. You know what? We'll go ahead and throw it on. It's available on all the levels. We'll go ahead and throw that on. Everything else, honestly, the crossbars, the body side moldings, all of that, we can skip all that. I'm not really into any of that. Do keep in mind that these accessories, we don't have to, technically, you don't have to option any of these. You can just go to the dealer later on to the parts counter if you want to get any of this stuff. You don't have to option it when you buy the vehicle brand new. They just figure, why not do it now? They've got the all-season floor mats. I'm all down for the all-season floor mats. We got to get those. That cargo cover. I'm all down for the cargo cover. We got to get that. That's available on LX on all the models. So, yeah, let's go ahead and add that to our build. Then there's the cargo liner. What's the cargo liner? I don't think I need the cargo liner. We can skip that. The cargo net and the organizer and the tray. Let's see what the tray looks like real quick. I like the tray. Let's go ahead and add that tray as well. And then last but not least, they have the, these electronic accessories. There's parking sensors. It consists of front and rear parking sensors, so while backing up, two rear and two corner sensors emit audible beeps inside the HRV to signal as objects are approached. We all know what the parking sensors are. I want that for 514, and I'm all about remote engine start as of lately, and so I want that as well. Okay, so we're over here in the summary, and life for this vehicle started, started out as 23720 for a base model EX. We added all-wheel drive. That threw $1,400 on the thing right off the jump. Everything else was a no-cost option until we started playing with uh, all our different uh, accessories. We started playing with accessories, and then we got it, went ahead and got those wheels. So everything that we put on the vehicle, the vehicle didn't have to come with. But this is what makes the vehicle your own and to personalize it and make it all nice just the way you want. And we're sitting at just over $29,000. So really, we ratcheted up about, eh, I don't know, you know, what was, this car was 20, you know, just under 24,000. We basically added five-ish grand to this thing. And now we have a 2019 HRV EX all-wheel drive just the way we want. So, doesn't look like I can save the build summary on this, so I apologize. If you like the way this build summary looks, it doesn't look like I can save this. Um, but, you have this video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We've made it to the end. If you're still here and you're still watching, thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching my videos from front to back. Please also like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. You have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next